Here we're gonna go over what it takes to replace the water pump on a Mercedes. Um, first thing that you need to do is drain the coolant and at the bottom is the radiator. Um, on the right bottom corner has a drain valve. You can open that and allow the coolant to drain. Uh, you don't need to remove the radiator for this procedure. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is use a 17 millimeter um, socket. You place it right there and then push down. This will bring up the tensioner and then you can put a pin right down here that allows the tensioner to be locked in the up position. You can see this one, we have one here, so that's basically putting a socket right there, moving this spring-loaded tensioner up and then put this pin here. You won't be seeing it because this is all the way down, but you can see right here, so that should help. Once you do that, you can slide out the belt and then right here we have the water pump. There's several uh, bolts that you need to remove. Most of them are E12 and E10. And they're all over, you can see right here. So they're all over the place and that's kind of the tricky part. You'd be removing all these um, bolts where you have the radiator right here so you don't have all that much room, but it, it can be done. And uh, the other thing that you need to do is remove this cooler. I have the cooler right here just one bolt you remove that because you can't get up to that bolt if you leave this in place if you do have that pulley some models engines don't have that um, so once you remove all these bolts the other thing you need to do is right here you see that you use a flat screwdriver and pull this out and that will allow this hose to get um, unhooked basically and you just simply just press it down I just use a little bit of screwdriver you need to be careful because you don't want to be there you want to be on this ring right here if you're going to push down with a screwdriver you, otherwise you're going to crack that hose one other note as far as this uh, water pump replacement goes right here you have a E10 um, a bolt and so if you're using one of these um, kind of sockets it's really uh, you don't have room to put this socket in there so what we, we did is you either have to use a deep E10 socket right here in this case we use the eight millimeter socket it's pretty close that will go uh, will go there and you can remove that and install that bolt so once you do that the whole water pump comes out fairly easy and you slide it up there's a water pump and this is the gasket you make sure you might want to clean the area a little bit there put the new gasket new water pump and put everything back together.